Hey guys, it's Kat and I am back today for a get ready with me. I needed to do long wearing makeup for a long day and filming beauty news. So I thought I will pull out a bunch of stuff that I need to try or that new stuff that I've been wanting to show you that I've bought or received. Um, and I decided to come up with this look. So keep watching if you want to see how I get this. It might be long and rambly. Eh, it's a thing, um, but it's a mix between some basic products that I always use um, and some new things like some Eco Tools brushes, um, some of these Morphe palettes that I bought and they look exactly the same. Eh. Um, and also this gorgeous lipstick and stuff. So keep watching. Um, now I'm going to start by pinning back my hair. Can you believe my hair is still wet and I washed it 12 hours ago? Yeah, yeah, that's the great thing about my hair. It just never dries. And before anyone's like, oh my god, your hair is abnormally weird, I kind of pin it up in a little, like, you know, little twisty thing when I go to bed and it just doesn't dry the ends. So. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is my base. I'm not putting a primer on. I can't be bothered. I'm wearing this makeup all day, so I'm filming shortly for Beauty News with Hayley. Then we've got, like, a Skype interview thing going on. We've got to film some other stuff and potentially go out tonight. So... I want a long, like, I want this to be a long wear kind of day. So I'm wearing my, I'm going to wear my Revlon Color Stay. This is my favorite foundation to go to when I want, like, longevity. Um, this one's a little bit too dark for me, so I'll lighten it with a concealer that I'll show you in a second. I'm going to try these guys from Eco Tools. I've never used them. They're the new sponges, and you can use them wet or dry, so I'm kind of keen. They come in a two-pack. They kind of come like this, which is cool. Um, I took them out of the packet. Um, but one is, like, clearly bigger for, like, bigger areas, and one is smaller for, like, smaller areas, which I really like, and I like that you can use them wet or dry. Dry. Um, I do also have an Eco Tools um, code thing. I am not getting any money from it whatsoever. I just went to an event and they're like, oh, if you want to give your subscribers 25% off, um, the code will be in the description box. It's for the Australian website and it ends at the end of May. So I might actually pick up more of these if I like them. We will see. Okay, so what I'm mixing with my foundation is the Maybelline Master Conceal. Um, this is just a concealer in the shade Fair. It's super, super light. And the reason I do that is purely because this one's a little bit too dark for me at the moment. And um, yeah, I, I don't want really dark foundation on. Surprise. So I just put a little bit with that, like that kind of ratio, whatever. And I am going to test this out wet just because I want to see what it's like compared to like the Real Techniques one that I often use. So I've got some water here. So just off to the side. Water I prepared earlier. Okay, so that's it now. Damp. It does, it's a little bit firmer or denser. A little bit denser than other, um, like the Beauty Blender or the Real Techniques one. But I really like that shape. So just going in with the foundation. There we go. So it looks a little bit light. But since I use bronzer and stuff, it kind of, you know, brings it all back. You can fill some big areas using this, which is quite good. So I guess my first impression of this, um, it is a little bit firmer than other sponges that I'm used to using, but it definitely does cover an area super quickly and it is really like a really nice even application. Potentially this side, I'm not used to it being like, I'm not used to a side being so big, like it's really big. Um, but then again, you can always just go in with the other side, which is a little bit more like the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. So um, yeah, it works like any other sponge. I like the fact that it comes in that two pack and I will use the other one for my concealer. So that's cool. That's cool. And we're getting into the overcast weather where... Everything now is going to look shit and dark. Thank you, Melbourne. Winter is coming. Brr. Okay, so I'm now going in with concealer and I'm going to talk about my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Um, I know everyone's heard about this. They rave about it and I kind of want to give you my thoughts about it. Um, these are very hard to get in Australia. You've got to order them off the Tarte website, um, which is what I did with um, this one. Hayley was placing an order, so we... I, 
told her to chuck it in for me. So that's the packaging there. Um, it's Sephora, not Sephora, it's Ulta and, and Tarte website exclusive at the moment, which is really annoying. And then I had a lovely subscriber send me one as well. So thank you so much, Katie. I'm going to be talking about a little um, a highlighter that she gave me as well. Um, that was very sweet of her. I actually prefer the shade that she got me, which is light neutral. Um, it's a little bit, um, I'll show you. So light looks a little bit more light and also a little bit more almost gray kind of matches my top whereas this kind of matches my skin so this one's a little bit more yellow toned and a little bit uh deeper which at the moment this suits me a lot better than this one this might be like the dead of winter one so um, i'm going to go in with light neutral um so my thoughts on this firstly i, I quite like the application it's bloody it's a huge doe foot applicator um because this was so raved about, I had like these crazy high hopes for it. And I don't think it lives up to those high hopes, unfortunately. Is it still a good concealer? Yes. But I think it's like a notch up from the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, which is one of my Holy Grail concealers. I have like three of them in my drawer as a backup. So to go to the effort to get this and to spend the money because I never go on sale, like on the Tarte website when they have sales, it always doesn't include this concealer. And... Tarte never goes on sale in Sephora in Australia. So the fact that this is so hard to get and it's a lot more expensive than the Maybelline one, I don't think it's worth the hassle, but it is a good concealer. If you like the Maybelline Fit Me, you'll like this one. I do prefer this applicator because it kind of just, you know, deposits quite a nice amount. Um, but I was expecting it to be like crazy full coverage and it's not. You do still need to use quite a lot. Um, yeah, it's just a nice one that does set, which I like because I've got oily skin. I also like that it's got that little um, kind of ridge in there, so it picks up a lot. You don't need to kind of go back in, which the more you kind of put the wand in, the more like the drier it becomes. So it's good that it gives you a lot on the, not brush, applicator. And just for fun, I might use this guy and I might use him dry just because. So I do like this cut. So you can see, if you think that you'll, you'll be like, oh, this is crazy full coverage, but it's not. It's just normal coverage. Um, and when you see people that are like, oh, my God, it's amazing. The coverage is amazing. And then they have to, like, pile on heaps. Um, yeah, it's because it's not crazy coverage. It's just average coverage. But it is a nice concealer and it definitely does work um, if you've got oily skin, if you've got, um, like, creases and stuff. It kind of does set really nicely. I reckon if you had dry skin, you might not love it, but, you know, I do like it. But, yeah, like I said, is it amazing compared to the Maybelline one? Not really, but if you like cruelty-free, this might be a better option. More expensive and harder to get, but better option for you. I do like that this is quite thin and it's not really thick and creamy, so it doesn't crease and move everywhere, which um, is one of my pet peeves for a concealer, so... Yeah, I like that one. Now I'm gonna be honest with you and tell you that I probably should demonstrate this setting powder by NYX. This is the no filter um, setting powder and I've got a whole bag of new NYX stuff. But to be honest, I've got a long day. I'm filming after this and I don't wanna fuck up my makeup. I know that sounds bad. In here is a lot of colorful stuff, which I think I will demonstrate soon, like really colorful liners, um, really colorful lips, which I do wanna demonstrate I might do another one of these videos like next week, but this does not set my makeup and I need my makeup to like last all day. So I'm not going in with this, unfortunately. I should demonstrate it, but I don't want to. Instead, I'm just going in with some staples that I use a bit. This one is my Laura Mercier. This is the Secret Brightening Powder, which I'm just gonna set my under eye area with. And this is a NARS, um, this is the soft velvet loose powder in desert which is something I'm trying to pan so I'm going to use these instead and I might use this eco tools brush this is the full powder so it's best with pressed powders too bad I'm using loose powders I'm using loose powders I actually was feeling these um, at an event I went to they're super soft they're actually surprisingly soft okay this is kind of big for this but we're, we're doing it anyway Oops, a daisy. So I don't actually bake my under eyes at all, but this is just so I can set the concealer really well because um, I want it to last. And this powder is like a translucent powder. It's really, really finely milled and it's got a bit of sheen in it, which is a bit weird, but it just kind of illuminates the under eye area without it looking illuminated. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I already know that this video is going to be a bastard to edit. So sorry, cat. 
sorry. Um, this is that NARS powder. This one's a gorgeous powder. It's really, once again, finely milled. But the problem with it is, is it's so finely milled that you can see it kind of clings to the packaging. I don't know if you can see that. But it used to have a sifter that I took out because it just doesn't come through the sifter. And I've had this for like two years um, just because I can't get it out of the packaging. So I thought, bugger it, I'll start, I'll put it in a project pan. I'll start using it before it goes completely off. Um, and I'll just pry off the sifter and it works very well because it's so finely milled. It kind of balls up. It doesn't like go everywhere. It just kind of like sticks to the sides, but it is a really nice blurring powder. So all of a sudden my face looks all right. That brush was actually really nice and soft. Like it's probably not the best for the under eyes. You can still do it, but it's beautiful and soft. Okay, I'll do the rest of the face later, um, but I'll go in with just an eyeshadow base that I'm trying to um, pan. This is the Benefit Stay Don't Stray eyeshadow primer. It should hide some of my red dots. I don't know, sometimes like my shampoo or hair products or skincare kind of gives me a reaction and it always flares up in the outer corner there and the inner part there. You Sometimes it does it with shampoo, so I'm trying to like figure out what's causing it. Um, when it flares up, it's quite like dry and ugh. Okay, and to blend that out, I'm just going to use this Eco Tools brush. This is the micro blending brush and it's supposed to be for concealer, but let's try it for uh, this thing, shall we? So it's like an angled brush, this thing. Primer. It is a nice soft brush. Beautiful. Okay, and I bought these two Morphe palettes, the 25A and 25B, and they kind of look the same. They both have way too many dark shades and way too many matte shades, so I'll show them to you. I might do a dedicated review. Um, you can see that pretty much like these two have a slight shimmer in them, but they'll look matte on the, on the skin, I guess. But that up, like probably that row and those three are shimmery. The rest are matte and the rest just look like khaki browns. Like there's too many of the same shades. That is a little bit disappointing. Um, and then, so that one was A and B is sort of the same. I prefer this one. I think this one's just a bit nicer. So once again, two rows of mattes. Um, and then that one's a shimmer, that one's a shimmer, and the rest are mattes. So it's just pretty much a dark matte brown palette. So I'm going to use them anyway. I might go in with like this shade here. I haven't used that one before. Okay, so I'm going to use this uh, eye kit thing. And it's also got an angled liner, which I might use for my brows, maybe. So like I said, I'm going to try this color here with this brush. So it's a little like fat dense side. I don't know what this color's like. Do da, do da. So this is a nice color. I just wish the colors were more varied in the palette. So boring. Pigmentation's quite nice though. I might actually go with that one next to it because it's more shiny and fun. So I'm going to pop that on the lid and maybe on the lower lash line as well. on the center like I've been punched in the face hooray so I really like those colors they apply really nicely I just wish Morphe could understand that they're shimmery shades especially like this are their best formula so don't make a pretty much almost matte palette please because we need more of the shimmers anyway I'm gonna blend this out a bit I'm just going with the other side of that brush that fluffy one um, I'm gonna start by using probably just like that color there and then sort of like deepen it with maybe these kind of colors so uh, that's what we're doing so just you can see how pigmented that transition color is because it's actually taken away some of that shine so I'm gonna to have to go back and build that up a bit I might actually go for this shade which looks like a bit of fun just kind of to deepen the crease that dry skin is really annoying me damn you skin reaction see there's a bit of fallout just going in with that original side and that second shimmery shade just to kind of intensify it a bit because I lost some of that from the crease blending then I'm going in with a clean brush just to kind of blend all that out. Okay. 
And for a bit of fun, I might just pop this color on the inner corner and sort of lower lash line. And I'm gonna use actually a concealer brush to do that. So I'm gonna use this kind of flat brush here in this uh, Ultimate Concealer Duo Pack. Not sponsored, just testing these out. Yeah, Morphe do make some really gorgeous metallic shades. They should just stick to that. That's it, eyeshadows are done. Before I go and rustle up an eyeliner brush, I'm just going to use that side of this double-ended brush. That's the one that I used the clean in just to blend out. And um, Anastasia Dip Brown, let's do some brows. My shade is medium brown. So I definitely try to um, extend my brows in a bit because I kind of have no brows at the front. Probably a plucking incident from back when I was in high school. Good times. And I should really trim my brows, but I have not. And to get rid of some of that blocky brow business, I'm just going in with a spoolie. This is from the Eye of Horus um, brow pencil thing. Um, I'm just going to kind of soften that a bit. I'm also just going to use this brow pencil to draw in my mole that I got removed, but I miss. I don't miss it like I'm glad I got it removed, but I kind of feel like I need to get it tattooed on. So one day. Colour in the other ones. Alright, so I've got a MAC liner brush. This is a 209 and I've got an Inglot liner. This one's just in 75. Um, it's a dark purple and it's cracked, but it still works. Alright, let's give this a go. So, I just kind of start on the inner corner. I don't know why I start in the inner corner and then I do my outer corner, but that's what I kind of do. And draw in your wing. I like that. And then I just kind of connect like the midpoint of the wing to the line that I started. And you just t tidy it up and fill it in. Like that one. This is actually a really nice liner because um, even though it sort of does crack and dry out, it stays really pigmented and kind of, um, yeah, really smooth. So it's not like tugging on the eye or skipping. So it's quite easy to apply. Okay, I'm just taking that same liner just because it's easy on the lower lash line. Um, like on the waterline and I do want this makeup to last all day and I do know that gel liner does last really really well both on the top line and also on the waterline. The mascara that I'm currently using is just a little Bobbi Brown one. This is one that I'm trying to pan. I had a little bit of this on before so I'll just put a bit more and I'll put some lashes. Um, the brows and the liner and the mascara and stuff, they're not new products, I'm not testing any new ones, so um, this is just pretty standard. Also my standard lashes, these are just cut in half, they're Model Rock uh, W376. Um, I just use them on the outer corners with my really festy Model Rock glue. Exciting. All right, so that's still drying, but um, this is pretty standard of the makeup that I use on a daily basis. 
Um, and then also if I'm filming, I'll do this kind of makeup with lashes. So that's what that is. Um, my thoughts on these guys. Um, I like the quality. I just really don't like the limited shade range. Like I want more shimmers. These are all very similar. These are all very similar, especially this palette, this one. Very limited shimmers. Why do you need so many darks? What is all this khaki row? Um, but the quality is quite nice. I'm just disappointed in the shades. Okay, so we're zoomed out again. We're gonna finish the face. Um, once again, this is gonna be a mix of new products and also Project Pan products. This is a Project Pan bronzer that I'm trying to use up. You can see that I'm doing a good job. Um, and I might just go in with that powder brush from Eco Tools again. I'm actually quite liking these brushes. Um, I'm going away soon. so And they've got some travel packs, so I might actually pick some up with my voucher. Thank you, Eco Tools, for that one. Okay, I'm just going to kind of lightly contour. Nothing too crazy. I'm not a big contour person. I just like to warm up the face a little bit with some bronzer. So um, that's essentially what I'm doing here. That was actually a really soft brush, so I might actually go in. Um, this is just an e.l.f. blush brush, and I might just kind of, kind of see how that's a little bit uneven. It's not because of the brush application. I've just got kind of got like redness here, and it's making it look a bit uneven. So I'm just gonna go in, use up some of the rest of this bronzer. See if I can just deepen that a little bit to hide some of that red patchiness. Okay, so since I put a bit of bronzer on, I'm not going to put a blush on, but what I will do is use this NYX Duo Chromatic Highlighting or Illuminating Powder. This is in the shade Crushed Bloom, and because it is quite, um, it's kind of mauvey colored, I'm going to use that as like a blush and highlighter in one. I'm going to use that same brush. I've just kind of wiped off the bronzer. Um, and once again, this was sent to me from Katie. So thank you very much. This is really gorgeous. Um, this looks really subtle when you like swatch it with your finger, but I think because it's quite sort of like a moist product, if that makes sense, it's not a super dry chalky product. It's got a bit of like cling to it. I think it picks it up better with a brush than um, with your finger for some reason. So I'm just going to use that sort of all over as a blush and as kind of a pink highlighter. So hopefully you can see that gives like a really pretty kind of, it's sort of like a duochrome where it goes orange to pink. So kind of gives like a kind of, I don't know, peachy blush with a pink kind of shift. So that's compared to nothing, that's that. Um, you do kind of need to use a heavy hand if you want to show up a lot though. So, um, but it's, it's very pretty. Okay, so we're nearly done guys. We're just doing the lips and um, I was using one of these lipsticks from the Makeup Factory, I believe that's what it's called. So. That's um, an example of what it looks like. So they're vegan lipsticks. Um, I've got two shades and a gloss. So I've got um, Jade and Sadie. And Jade is uh, this kind of like sheer bright coral. Um, it's a pretty color. It's not like soup. It doesn't really suit me because I prefer like a bold. If I'm going to go like a bright color like that, I want it to be super opaque. But the one that I love is Sadie, which is this really dark color here. Um, and what I love about this actually is that you think that these kind of colors will um, sort of fade down to like an unpatchy sort of like rim of dark and then it kind of looks weird. This doesn't. It actually fades down to almost like I think the black in it kind of clings to the lips. So it almost has like a black stain, which sounds really weird. It's not a stain, but it kind of the black pigment sticks to the lips. So it looks kind of cool, even if it's starting to wear off. So I really like it. Um, they've also got, I also got um, a clear lip gloss from them as well, which is, I don't know what the shade is. It's got a name. Okay, so we're going in with Sadie. Good old Sadie. Loving the shade. So it's definitely not a matte formula and it's quite thick. It almost, it smells like raw ingredients, almost like um, an oil or a wax or something, but it is quite comfortable and the color is phenomenal. Um, I love this lipstick. I don't feel like I need to use a lip liner with it, but if you want to be super precise, go for your life. It would make your life a bit easier because it is 
quite a thick lipstick so it is quite uh, almost like waxy a little bit so it once you do have it on it does stay but to get it super precise you might want to put a lip liner it's up to you but I love the color it wears off really well and I think it's like my perfect dark vampy lip I don't usually go for a dark vampy lip but this is changing my mind it's influencing my nail polish choices it's just doing things for me so I love it if I know where the website is I'll link it down below um, I was sent that from PR but it just happens to be a lipstick that looks awesome and that I really like all right that's my final look um, for testing a few new products out um, overall you know there's some good products in there I like the sharp sh sharp taste taste Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, I like it, but I don't think it's as amazing as all the hype around it claims it to be. But if you do like a concealer that has that is quite thin and sets really nicely, check it out. Um, if you like the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, this is like a notch above, so check it out if you like that. I do like the Morphe palettes, I just don't like the shade ranges. The quality is really nice, but they should have put half shimmers and half mattes and not had so many like same same colors but I really like this eye look I created um, really liking this kind of NYX highlighter that I'm sort of using as a blush today really pretty quite subtle so you do need to use a heavy hand if you want it to show up quite well um, what else was new that I tried lip product love this lip product clearly it's a thing um, oh and the brushes from Eco tools, uh, they they they're fine. I like them. The sponges, they're not my favorite. As I don't know, I've got to play with them a bit more. This is a problem with first impressions. Um, I do think they're a little bit denser than the, well, definitely denser than the Beauty Blender and a little bit denser than the Real Techniques ones. But you know, I might come around to love them. And if they're really affordable, I'll probably buy like ten packs because I use sponges all the time. But if you like this kind of get ready with me, um, first impressions, testing a few things out, um, I'm happy to do it again because I've got a lot of NYX products that I want to use and I want to try out. But I'm because some of the colors are a little bit strange, like a yellow eyeliner. Um, I didn't really want to wear it today because this is a, like I need to wear makeup that I need to film in, go out in, conduct an interview in. And um, I kind of didn't want to wear like red eyeliner or fluoro, fluoro yellow or green lips so that can be for another day so if you like this get ready with me I was literally getting ready for the day so I thought I'll turn on the camera and make a mess in my lounge room um, give it a thumbs up and um, yeah that's about it see you guys